What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. Just doing some long range shooting today with my POF Rogue AR-10. And I'm going to try for 700 yards for the first time with this rifle. And I got a 2 to 10 power scope on here. This is a Sig Sauer Whiskey 5, 2 to 10 by 42. I've already taken this rifle out to 500. It did well at 500 yards. So I'm going to up the ante and go for 700. Now, practically speaking, in my opinion, a 308 Winchester is best at between 500 and 700 yards max. The energy and the velocity really starts to drop off after 500 yards, especially with the ammunition I'm using, which is just some standard M80 ball. This is a Norma Tactical M80 ball. And I've chronographed these rounds out of my 16 and a half inch barrel POF Rogue. And they travel at around 2,550 feet per second. And this is what they look like here. Just standard FMJ ammo. And we're shooting at about a 6 degree incline uphill. So... There is a slight adjustment that needs to be made. We got a cosine of 99 right now. Okay. Very light wind. Basically non-existent. Some light breezes here and there. Max 2.5 to 5 miles per hour. But for the most part, not much of a breeze. You can see here, this little marker here. It's not really moving at all. Just very, very lightly. So maybe one or two miles per hour at the most. And our target is all the way up there. And I also have some targets set up at 500 yards and 300 yards as well. So I'm going to start with 700 and then move down 500 and 300. And so I got my Kestrel meter. And this is a Kestrel 3500, and it's about 88 degrees Fahrenheit right now, so pretty warm. So let's see what happens here, guys. Let's see what kind of groups I can get with this M80 ball ammo from Norma at 700 yards with a 16-inch barrel POF Rogue. So absolutely love this rifle. I got a Burris Fast Fire mounted on the top and Atlas Bipod flash hider from Silencer Co. waiting for my Omega 300 can to come. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so I had to make a 22 MOA correction, which is just absolutely insane. That's 160 inches of drop at 700 yards. So I'm going to start with 22 MOA. Hopefully that'll get us on paper. It could be around 675 yards or 690 yards, sometimes these ranges are not 100% perfectly measured out, but I'm going to start with the correction for 700 yards, which is exactly 22 MOA, or 160 inches of drop. So let's see what happens here.
right guys, I'm gonna let the rifle cool and we're gonna drive up there and see what kind of hits I made. But it's always good to touch the barrel of your rifle and make sure it's cool to the touch before shooting your next string. Because once your rifle starts heating up, especially the barrel, it'll start to throw flyers. So when you're shooting at these types of distances, take your time. You probably want to wait, in my opinion, at least 15 minutes between strings, especially on a hot summer day like today, 88 degrees, at least 15 minutes. Let that barrel cool all the way down. So let's go check out my groups, see what I hit, and see if my adjustment of 22 MOA was spot on. It should be because I chronographed these loads myself, So and they were spot on at 500. So let's see what happens now. All right, guys, here's our three-shot group at 700 yards with the POF Rogue. 16 inch barrel AR-10, Norma M80 ball, and you can see three shots right here. I was aiming more or less in the center here. We got one, two, and three. To me that's an acceptable group, especially for just some basic full metal jacket ammunition. I'd say that's pretty good. Now. This is an 18 inch wide target. So, you know, I don't know the actual distance between these shots. I have my tape measure in my car and I don't really feel like going and getting it, but I mean, you can see that's probably, I don't know what, eight inches between each other. These two are probably about a foot apart, but 700 yards with a 10 power scope. I'd say that's pretty good, 16 inch barrel. And underneath the target, I got one of those actual competition targets and those are wider and those represent a human torso better. But I'd say this is a dead marauder, guys. What do you think? I think this is excellent. I'm very happy. Really what I'm doing here is I'm not really focusing too much on, you know, having a super duper small group. I'm focusing on making sure my dope is spot on, and it is. I dialed 22 MOA evenly, and basically I was aiming right here. So if you average, the center of these three shots is somewhere right here. So my adjustment was 100% perfect. So I know my scope is zeroed properly. And now I'm going to go down and I'm going to take a couple more shots at this target. And then I'm going to take a couple shots at the 500 yard target and then the 300 yard target. So stay tuned guys. Look at that. 700 yards. 308 Winchester. I know it's kind of an older round but it gets the job done. And I'm shooting from all the way down there, that pavilion on the right. That's where I'm shooting from, all the way down there. Second bench from the right, that's where I'm shooting from. Look at how far that is, guys. Look at this beautiful Pennsylvania countryside. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's see what kind of groups I get at 500 and 300 yards now. But I'm happy with this. All right, guys. So now I'm going to be shooting at 500 yards. I'm going to shoot a three-shot group. And I got to make an adjustment. You see I'm at 22 MOA right now. And I got to go down to 11 and a quarter MOA. And we got a 59-inch drop at 500 yards with this particular ammunition. And... At 500 yards, these rounds are still hitting that target with 850 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. That's as much energy as a 44 Magnum. And the bullets have an impact velocity of 1,600 feet per second. So still quite a bit of velocity there. So... 
Let's see what happens here, guys. See what kind of group we get and see if my dope is on point. It should be. All right, guys, I'm at the 500 yard target stand. You can see the wind really started picking up. The sun is going down, so there's some kind of a thermal draft because the top of the mountain is over there and I'm shooting kind of in a valley. So it looks like some kind of a thermal draft, but looks like the wind blew some of my bullets off to the right. So I took six shots at 500 yards and one shot basically dead nuts right there in the center. I was aiming in this area here and one a little bit off to the right, about three or four inches. And we got two out here. That's probably about, I would say, six or seven inches off to the right. And then we got two up here, not sure what happened there. But I'm pretty happy with these groups, guys. I think that this little thermal draft here blew my bullets to the right a little bit. That's why four of them were off to the right and then two in the center. And it's almost like a constant breeze right now. So, but I'm satisfied with these groups and Looks like the adjustment was correct. 11 and a quarter MOA basically got me more or less right at 500 yards. Those two were high. Not sure what happened there, but four of them were basically right where my point of aim was the same up and down. So 
I'm pretty happy with this guys and I'm gonna be doing a penetration test at 500 yards with various 308 Winchester ammunition including the TTSX and some others so stay tuned to my channel for more long-range shooting and long-range penetration tests with the 308 Winchester, 300 Win Mag, and soon to come 338 Lapua.